Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number RM823 a BSP. This is a coat hook from Rockwood. This is a um, this is part of a collection of uh, baseboard mounted door stops, uh, floor mounted door stops, uh, coat hooks uh, like this in their RM series that I'll show that to you. And this is the part number RM823. What that means is that you have a piece of material that's two inch in length. Okay, it's five eighths in diameter, and then it has this little stop at the end, and gives you about an inch and a half here. Okay, this is the, obviously the front of it. The back end of it is is drilled out. I would imagine it's drilled out, and then counterboard and tapped here that's for the installation components now the installation components consist of the cone head union bolt that's called a hanger bolt hanger bolts are half machine and half wood thread that machine thread is going to go into that brass cone bolt okay then that tiny little set screw is going to go in here and hold it all together that's how this is going to work Okay, the RM823, this is likely made of stainless steel. Indeed, it's very, very marginally magnetic. That, uh, that tells me it's made of stainless, and that's your installation. Okay. Uh, oh, the point of it being made in stainless, which means it can be done in a satin brushed stainless finish, or a polished stainless finish can be done as well. Um, they can powder coat, obviously black, they can white powder coat, and I think that they can also do a uh, red. I think they're powder coating in red as well. I don't believe that this item is available in any of the uh, brass or bronze base material, which means I don't think it's available in a polished brass. Your bronzes, your brasses, your chromes, your nickels, oil rub bronze, I don't think they do any of that. Oh, speaking of oil rub, they can do a powder coated dark oil rub bronze equivalent so a dark bronze powder coated equal equivalent not equal equivalent or compatible with oil rub bronze let's switch now to the screen view and let's take a closer look at some of the supporting information if you are enjoying this video please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel let's move on to the rest of the video here is the item that we are looking at let's take a look at some photos that we have linked to here down below showing all the components your hook only now this is definitely black the way the light is hitting it makes it look a little bit lighter you know some people but why is it, is it gray like in the picture no it's black the term suede means that it has a texture to it you can see how the paint leaves a textured sort of surface and you know you you can feel it on the material if you are thinking about it being suede versus something that's just polished or brushed um, and that's a net effect or a side effect of the powder coating process it's spray paint uh, except that it's dry powder and held on with opposite charges so this is put onto something that is has a particular positive or negative charge the paint when it's pushed out through a spray gun has its opposite charge and when the two items come into contact with each other the paint and the base item uh, voila, you have powder coating. Uh, the downside of that is it does have a small amount of texture to it. So they've come up with the marketing term, black suede powder coat. Um, but it's also very durable. Powder coating is known to be extremely durable. Little side view, front on, back side, and then your screw package alone, showing your hanger bolt, your set screw, and your brass cone head or union bolt now extended description collection of coat hooks sturdy alternative to more common fare um, meaning don't use your grandpa's coat hook here here's here's something more modern you don't have to you don't have to accept Aunt Bessie's coat hooks you can have something more modern here it is um, most architectural finishes are available uh, makes me think brass is available Standard attachment hardware is for wood doors. 
Um, you know, it's a it's a wood thread, so anything you're going to want to stick that into, you might need a large plastic anchor if it's going into something that would require something other than a machine thread. Um, you know, you could also just get a piece of threaded rod if you're going to, for some reason, drill and tap that into something. Uh, specify if you're using on metal or glass doors. Metal or glass. Hmm. I don't know why we would want to know if it's a glass door. Uh, product brochure is here. Let's first look at the cut sheet, however. That's what the brushed stainless looks like. The cut sheet, no new information here. It's just basically a review of everything else. They do list those sizes we talked about earlier, but they state brass is available, but they don't list brass finishes. Um, let's also now look at the product brochure that's here. And this will show all of the RM series material. And here is our RM823. You can see its sister product, the RM822. The only difference really here is going to be the length. The RM822 is inch and a half overall, and the 823 is a bit longer. They make these available with discs, washers below them, that will increase that projection of each of them by an eighth of an inch because they're adding that eighth of an inch washer. So you can have that sort of look should you like. All of these are fairly common. Our, the 801s, the 801s, and the 22 and 23 are very common. We've sold all of these. The 804 is somewhat uncommon. Um, the 812 is somewhat uncommon. That doesn't mean you don't want them. I'm just saying the orders that I see are for the 801, the 22 and the 23, the 20 and 21 as well but not too often on the 04 and the 12. Now, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page uh, here, where you can click on that and pull up not only all of the Rockwood products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Now, the RM material is not in this full product catalog. This is their core catalog of the items that most people would think of Rockwood for. But then they have this alternate catalog, the Architectural Door Pull catalog. And it's 100 plus pages of all things, you guessed it, door pulls. If we were to scroll down just into the catalog, get into it, you'll see there's scores of options of pulls available. But it's in this catalog where you're going to find your RM uh, series coat hooks that are available. Here's that same page you'll find that there are other variants as well. Okay. I'd also mentioned floor stops, wall stops. Here they are, baseboard stops. Now these are kind of called pencil stops. If someone says they want a pencil stop, they're meaning something skinny and long like that. There you go. Okay, pretty handy. Let's uh, wrap up this video on camera. You know what, before we do that, other items, other links that are on this page uh, of note would be the mounting kit parts master table here. If you have those door poles or you're looking for bolts for any of the uh, architectural poles from Rockwood, of which we stock a substantial quantity of it because we sell a lot of it, this is where you'll find those part numbers for the different types of bolts that hold all of this together. That cone union that's there, it's an SP1027, is that brass part number in this uh, item. Uh, I don't think they have the hanger bolt listed here, though, but that's an easy trip down um, industrial hardware lane to find what that is. Okay. There you go. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Okay, in conclusion, it's not unusual that you'd be looking for that. The RM823 is both very common, as is black. Black, the year now is 2020. Uh, we will not be sad to see it go. If you look up in the history books as to why, you'll know why. Um, black, historically, is a very common finish. If you look at catalogs that were 100 years old, everyone offered black. If you look at catalogs from about 1991, you didn't have a lot of options in terms of finishes. Would you like satin chrome or satin chrome? Um, you know, you could always get, depending on what it was, you'd get satin chrome, satin brass, uh, pardon me, satin chrome, 
polished brass, satin chrome, satin bronze, oil rub bronze. That's it. Nothing else. Well, here we are in 2020, and there's been a renaissance uh, of other finishes. Your satin nickels. Okay, that's, uh, well, in, in the 1970s, it was antique brass and etched bronze. The 80s, of course, polished brass, phasing into the 90s with satin chrome. That's cool. Let's be even more cool and insist on satin nickel. And then, of course, a 180. Now we're at the end of the 90s, early 2000s, oil rub bronze and all of those derivatives, the Venetian bronze and all that cool stuff. Getting into the mid-2010s, here's black. And black's going to be around for a little while. But historically, it's been around for decades, and I'm glad to see that it's available. Now, there are many different ways to finish hardware, and I am by no means an expert, but they weren't powder coating in 1920. Uh, it would have been a process called bright black Japan or dead black Japan, either a semi-gloss or a flat black finish. Um, you know, they weren't powder coat painted back then, different processes. You can search online for that sort of uh, explanation as to what bright and dead black Japan were. Um, that would have been the black that you would have gotten. And since we're speaking about finishes, before about 1930, if you looked in a Sargent catalog, Yale catalog, Corbin catalog, if you looked at those catalogs from about 1910, those manufacturers made everything that you needed, pretty much, for the home in the sense that they made your door locks, they made your hinges, they made your carpet bar hardware, your casement adjusters, uh, and they made other bits and bobs for the home. And they had a sheet or two pages in their catalog of just finishes, and they had these strange numbers, and then they had this odd description using words like Colombian and... Um, uh, anyway, other terms that escape me now, but did nothing for me when I'm reading it to understand what color it is. I don't know what Colombian color is. I, is it the color of coffee? I could be, I suppose. Um, and then you went to the other catalog, and they had a whole list of weird numbers and then these odd ways to describe them. Well, in about 1927, and I've done, done a lot of research, but enough to fill in a couple of holes... There was a government-sponsored initiative that said, hey, all you manufacturers, let's get together and let's standardize our finishes. Uh, and all of these manufacturers participated voluntarily and came up with a standard system called the U.S. system. So this would be, this wouldn't really have a U.S. number, but it would probably be U.S. 1D for black. They don't have powder coating in the U.S. chart. But everyone's heard of U.S. 2060. That's satin chrome. At some point, several decades after about 1930, and I have a Sargent catalog from about 1930 or 31, where my prior catalog from 1927 didn't have U.S. numbers, but that catalog in early 30, in 31 or 32, had the U.S. numbers, so it happened somewhere in there. Um, at some point later on, I don't know if it was the 60s or 70s, the Builders Hardware Manufacturers Association came up with their chart of finishes, the U.S. system is great. The BHMA system is greater. Here's why. U.S. 3 in the, in the U.S. 2060 in the U.S. chart means satin chrome, but it doesn't tell you the base material. Well, if you go over to the BHMA chart, they have U.S. 2060 as 652, which is satin chrome, and 626, which is satin chrome. 652 means it's satin chrome on steel. 626 means satin chrome on brass. So now the BHMA is a better version of the U.S. system because now it tells you the base material. You can order a plastic doorstop um, or a zinc door cabinet knob, and they'll call it U.S. 2060. It's satin chrome. doesn't tell you the base material. Now, they can't call it the BHMA number because it declares the base material. Um, in the BHMA code, there is not a black suede powder coat over a stainless base material. Um, so you know, the standards and how we call things, how things are called in terms of finish, it doesn't evolve as fast as the fast as the market demands for different finishes. But nonetheless an interesting sidetrack into the world of finishes. Thankfully <clears throat> thankfully they standardized because Corbin in nineteen oh five made your you know literally the carpet bars on your stairs going up, they made the brass fittings to keep your carpet in place. Well they don't make that stuff anymore. The carpet bar guy makes that, but you want your locks by Corbin. Okay, well, I want it all to match. I want the entire, every finish to match. So you decide on the least common denominator. Let's say US 2060. Your locks are satin chrome. Your carpet bars are satin chrome. 
and everything will match. US 2060, um, when it's on steel, should match this person and this person and this person. And that was the benefit for the consumer in the standardization of those finishes. Um, finishes are still very much subject to interpretation and subject to, in my opinion, extreme confusion, especially when it comes to the living finishes, such as oil rubbed bronze. This finish won't change with time except under exceptional wear, uh, period. But something like oil rubbed bronze, every time you touch it, you're wiping away some of the finish that's there and eventually it will reveal the bronze below. Customers order that and they say, my finish is coming off in my hands. What's, this is defective. No, that, that's what 613 oil rub bronze is. If you want something that's stable, consider the powder coated version of oil rub bronze. This is black, but the powder coated version. Anyway, if you have any questions on the RM823 and a, and a BSP finish or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.